Hi friends, welcome back to my another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, we take a look at an easy way to create a strip fractal mirror effect in Photoshop. Let's start. We are using this photo by Shanijai from Pexels.com. If you need this photo you can download it from the link given in the description. First we need to create a copy of the background layer, go to layer, new, layer via copy, or press ctrl plus J, to create copy. Now create a new layer, name the layer black, and place this blank layer between the background and layer 1 in the layers panel. Fill the blank layer with solid black color. Make sure that layer 1 is the current layer and use the rectangular marquee tool to create a tall, narrow rectangular selection. Perfect. Then go to layer, new, layer via cut, or press shift ctrl j to cut the selection out and place it on a new layer. Hide this new layer by clicking on the eye icon next to the layer thumbnail. Repeat the process of creating about 10 or so slices from layer 1, working from left to right. Then hide the layer 1 and reveal all of the slice layers. Select the leftmost slice and use the move tool to move the slice to the far left of the canvas. Then move the rightmost slice to the far right edge of the canvas. Hold down the shift key while clicking on the slice layer thumbnails to select all the slices. Then go to layer, distribute, horizontal centers. This should spread the slices across the span of the canvas. With all the slices still selected, go to layer, group layers, or press ctrl G to place all of them into a single group. Rename the group. Right click on the mirror one layer group and select duplicate group to create a copy of the entire group. Leave the name as the default mirror one copy. Then right click again and choose convert to smart object. Ok, then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And use a blur radius of 10 px. Use the move tool to reposition the mirror one copy to the left to fill in some of the gaps left by the original fragmented mirror. Then tap the up arrow key a couple of times to give a slight vertical offset. Now duplicate the smart object, name this new smart object mirror 3 and then move it over to fill in much of the right side of the canvas. In the layers panel, put this object beneath the mirror 1 copy.
create another fragmented mirror by using the same technique as before, creating slices from a copy of the background layer, distributing them across the canvas, and grouping them together into a group called Mirror 4. Take care that this iteration has significantly different size slices than the first one did. Duplicate the Mirror 4 group by right-clicking and selecting Duplicate Group. Then convert it to a smart object by using the same right-click context menu. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur and use a radius of 11 pixels. Then move this group to the far right and place it below the Mirror 4 group in the Layers panel. Select the Mirror 4 group and add a layer mask with layer, layer mask, reveal all. Then use the gradient tool with the linear gradient and the preset of black, white to draw out a gradient starting at the far right and ending near the center of the canvas. This fades out the mirror effect from this group and allows the one from beneath it to be visible. Duplicate the mirror 4. Copy smart object, move it to the far left, and reduce the opacity to 30%. Add a hue, saturation adjustment layer to the very top of the stack. Set the saturation to minus 27 and the lightness to minus 13. Perfect, our strip fractal mirror effect is complete. The final preview will be like this.
I hope you like this tutorial, if you like this tutorial then make sure like and share this video also subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thank you.